Hello, and welcome to the training module Configuring OpenID Connect in Azure. In this module, you will first learn how to configure OpenID Connect in Azure, a public cloud computing platform from Microsoft. You will then integrate a MySonic Wall user account with Azure for authentication and then validate the login integration. Let's begin with an introduction to IDP. Azure is a public cloud computing platform from Microsoft that provides SSO and multi-factor authentication. An IDP, or Identity Provider, is a party that offers user authentication as a service, and stores and manages digital identities. An IDP workflow typically involves the following steps. A request. The user can enter credentials from another login, such as Google or Facebook or Twitter. Verification. The IDP checks with the company's IT to determine if the user has access and the level of access. Unlocking. The user gains access to the specified resources, and the visit is logged. In this topic, you learn how to configure OpenID Connect web application for authentication and authorization in Azure App Service. Navigate to portal.azure.com and log into your account. A sample account name has been entered for you. Click Next. A sample password has been entered. Click Sign In. We are now logged into the Azure portal. Click View, under Manage Azure Active Directory. We will add the OIDC app in Azure. Click App Registrations on the left menu panel. Click Add New Registration. Enter a name for the application. A sample name has been entered for you. To register the OpenID Connect app, click Register. Click Authentication on the left menu panel. Next, we add an authentication platform for the application. Click Add a platform. Select the web option. The next step is to enter the redirect URI and the front channel logout URL. To get the required information, log in to www.mysonicwall.com. Sample login credentials have been entered, click Login. The MSW dashboard page displays. Click the logged in user at the top right corner. Click the username. We are now taken to MSW, My Account, Settings page. Under Additional Options, enable the Use External Identity Provider toggle button. Under Choose the IDP Organization, click Azure. Click the Choose Provider Protocol drop-down. To choose the Provider Protocol, select OpenID Connect. Under the section How to Set Up in Azure, click the link Set Up Configuration here. Copy the OIDC redirect URL. Navigate back to Azure Configuration page and paste the URL from the MSW page as the redirect URI. Similarly, type or paste the URL from the MSW page as the front channel logout URL. Click Configure. Click Certificates and Secrets on the left menu panel. Click Add New Client Secret. Enter a description. A sample description has been entered for you. Click the Expires drop-down menu. To define the expiry date, select 24 months from the list. Click Add. Click the copy icon to copy the client secret onto a notepad. Click Overview. Click the copy icon to copy the application client ID onto a notepad. Click Endpoints. Click the copy icon to copy the OIDC metadata document onto a notepad. 
Click Home. Click View, under Manage Azure Active Directory. Click Users on the left menu panel. Click Add New User. Click Invite External User. Next, we enter the user identity details, such as the user name and email address. The information has been entered for you. Click Invite. A successful confirmation message displays on the screen. Next, click the link sent to the given email address. Enter the password and click Sign In. Click Yes to confirm remaining signed in. Click Accept to grant permission. We are now logged into Azure with the sample external user account. To log out, click the username at the top right corner and click Sign Out. We are now back to the Azure portal. Click Home. Next, we will assign user permissions to access the application. Click View, under Manage Azure Active Directory. Click Enterprise Applications on the left menu panel. Click the MSW OID application. Click Assign Users and Groups. Click Add User Group. Click None Selected. To add the assignment, select the user from the list. A sample user is selected from the list. Click Select. Click Assign. A successful confirmation message displays on the screen. Now navigate back to the MSW, IDP Setup page. Enable the checkbox to the option I have access to Azure Metadata URL. Paste the metadata URL from Azure, which is the OIDC metadata document. Paste the client ID from Azure. Paste the client secret from Azure. Click Connect and Save. A successful confirmation message is displayed on the screen. The MySonic Wall Azure OIDC setup is complete. Click the logged in user in the top right corner. Click log out. In this topic, we will validate the Azure IDP setup for MSW login. To begin, navigate to www.mysonicwall.com. Enter the username account for whom IDP is set up on MSW and click next. Enter the password and click Sign In. Click Yes in the message box to stay signed in. Notice that you are now successfully logged into MSW. This brings us to the end of this training module. IDP or Identity Provider is an organization that offers user authentication as a service and stores and manages digital identities. Azure is a public cloud computing platform from Microsoft that provides SSO and multi-factor authentication. OIDC allows clients to verify the identity of the end user based on the authentication performed by an authorization server.